Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. The Egyptian vultures. Here we have nature. We don't know what it really means. We just know we can enjoy it. Farani enjoys it as well in his own way. Our engineer This was the previous termination of the swale system towards the west. But now we have a, an addition. This was done today. So another 50 meters. The diesel and the saw for the plants that I remove before I dig the holes, the swales, and a, and a fire extinguisher. I don't trust this Asian manufactured excavator I have. So, it's all good. The soil is extremely clayish. Um, I don't even know if we have topsoil here. We must have because things grow in it. So uh, maybe a few centimeters topsoil. And then that's it. Even the topsoil is clayish. At least it breaks. But if you go a little bit further, you can actually press a hole in it. It doesn't break. When you can go even further, deeper, it becomes smoother. Yeah, we can make a pottery from this. So, a little bit of topsoil and then the clay starts. We haven't encountered any stones, so that's good. The swale will end here and then this is set aside for a pond. The pond wall will start here, the inlet of the water goes there next to these home oaks, the small ones, and then up to that Hara brush, Sistus. This will be the wall. So, step one remove the topsoil push it down beyond those little trees. Step two, dig a trench. Here, I saw, I think it's called a key, key something. Dig it here, about a meter wide, and then take 
proper clay, fill it, run over it with the excavator, more clay, build a wall of clay in this area, therefore going deeper this way. How to determine where the spillway should be will come after the wall is constructed but I want it the water to carry on towards the west right to the end this is more or less the height where the water will enter under the boom of the excavator and this area will be the dam wall up to this post over here first to remove all the topsoil it's much easier to push it down than to push it up with my excavator and then uh, dig this trench then take the good clay put it in there compact it until we have a two meter high wall four meters wide ratio two to one and then to be able to do this wall we'll have to take the wall the clay from the area up to where the dogs are more or less and then we wait for rain I also realize that it is said that it's better to not to fill a pond soon after construction but to wait a year I don't know what the value of that is, but it makes sense. And then once the pond is done, I come and sit here. I have the reflection of the mountain in the water. And I have this beautiful view. Not the shabbiest view on earth. Let's hear from the community, the engineers. My head is flat. Let's see what we can do. Till next time. Goodbye.